Hi guys, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations, where I have a very special guest today. And this is a semi-private lesson. Um, this is Kathy Mackey. Hello! Hi, Kathy! <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're in my studio. She came for a visit for a couple days. And uh, we've been playing with some paints. So Kathy's gonna do hers first, and then I'm gonna do mine. So she is doing a Dutch pour on an oval, and she's using the cloud pour mix, not cloud pour, the pearl pour mix that we made up last night. So it's gonna be interesting that we have, haven't done a pearl pour with a Dutch pour. Now all of her paints are mixed with Floetrol and water, is that it? Did you put water in it or just Floetrol? Floetrol and water. Flo Floetrol and water. And we have some TLP piggies too. So let me introduce her colors for her as she is painting the sides. This is TLP in Parakeet. And I'll put the recipe on how to mix your pigments for Dutch pours and any thin pours. This is Pebio Iridescent Red Blue. This is TLP in Blue Eyes. This is TLP in Pinwheel. This is 24 karat gold from DecoArt Americana Metallics. And what is this one? It's a folk art. Folk art? Um, midnight oh, Blue? Folk art Midnight Blue. It's a craft paint. So we've got all of her colors sitting here. We've got the Handy Dandy Berta ready and waiting. And we have the pearl mix that we did. So let's get to it. Are we ready? Kathy? Kathy is going to be gonna be oh, a star. Okay, so do we wanna blow that out? Um, I believe I'm going to twirl it around a little bit. going to twirl it. Okay. We're doing the twirling motion tonight. Okay, so we have to have enough paint mm -hmm. on the canvas for it to move the other paints, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Not that... It's your painting, darling. <laughs> Listen, it's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, so... You do, too. I I've do seen not. your work. I'm just a little novice here, trying my hand out. Girl, you need your own YouTube under channel. The, under the guidance of you, my friend, Michelle. You need your own YouTube channel. Who are you trying May to I just have this done? Um, Absolutely. I'm going to catch my little drips in here. Perfect. to make such a terrible mess. No, you can make a mess. It's, it, this is made to make a mess. All right. To save some paint. You're all good. You're part of the Save the Paint Foundation, are you? Absolutely. So yeah. am I. <laughs> and I'm very, very grateful to be here with my friend Michelle, oh my gosh. I'm who is just a star. I am happy. No, I'm not a star. Um, I used to be a twinkle. Well, you're a star to me. I used to be a twinkle in my dad's eyes, but <laughs> well, that, I don't think that possibly counts. <laughs> but... The king of a star. Oh, so anyhow, um, I, it's been my pleasure having you here. My gosh, I just love your company. I'm so happy that you're here. You know what we didn't do? We didn't. I see your fingerprints there. Let me just spray the back of that. Do you you know, I I thought of it, but it, it, it's not pretty. The tension seemed pretty good, actually. Okay, well. But whatever. Spray the back, go It's not going to hurt. Okay. All right. Let's see. I've never done this combo before. Awesome. So I like trying new things. <laughs> Absolutely. So oh, I see a, a big fat bubble there that has to be removed instantly. Oh, that's okay. Torch. I don't like that one. Can I have that torch? That one torch, that torch don't work. It's, oh, excellent. It is dead to the world. I need a new torch. I don't know about you guys, but I go through torches like almost every couple months. I don't know why, but they just break. Of course, I use them for resin too, so there's a possibility. That, oh, don't worry about I know, I, I can't work in this mess. Yeah, she's, yeah. She, 
She's, yeah, so I feel my mother's watching over my head. My where shoulders. do we want to go with these I think colors? I'm going to go with my navy blue. Okay. Well, that's up to you. Yeah, the navy blue probably would be. <gasps> Ooh, Whoa, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, the order you want to put them in? Or it doesn't matter. You can just pick, I, I pick don't know. Or what, I had them all before and now I've like. Oh, did lost I, my thread. Did I screw that up for you? Apparently you did. Sugar. <laughs> but it's okay. Sugar. We'll work it out. All right. I really don't have um, a plan here. That's the best plan. There's no plan. <laughs> so I think possibly I'll start over here. Mm -hmm. I just hope like Canella's not watching or anything like that. Oh, stop. You're so funny. <laughs> She'll be said, oh no, don't do that. Okay, I'll put that one over there. Do you want to use it again or we're not sure? Possibly. Okay. A little bit of this nice, is it parakeet? This is parakeet from TLP. I hope I've not made these too thin. We'll soon find out. That we will. Now, I think we might go for a bit of this gold because it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I love, yeah. You've got to have a little bit of gold, haven't you? Every girl needs a bit of gold. Everybody needs gold. Okay. Then so we have possibly these. the blue. Uh -huh. So you're going to get some pearls out of this, possibly. Hey. You like a lot of blue. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited! This is the first thing I've ever done that has been so out of my comfort zone. Ah. Let's put the purple on. And I know this isn't really a Dutch pour because I'm not pouring on top and top in a nice I don't think it matters. Way. But you know, it's... Do you ever see Erica Hughes uh, chaos, chaos mm -hmm. pours? Yes, Dutch pours. Ooh, look at that color. Now, do we want to put some white over top of that? Possibly a little. Okay, a little so grizzle. Let me um, get you a, a little cup for that. Uh, here we go. Here, where's this white one? Yeah, except for I put the. Well, that's okay. It's oh, that is. All right. So just pop a little grizzle of this on. I can see the sparkles already. Ah. I can see it um, spreading out, and it's looking like. Um, like you're gonna get some hella, hella pearls. Hella pearls? Hell of a pearl. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to give it a little torch. Yep. And then you're gonna blow it out. Now do you wanna, do you wanna practice on the blow? Do you wanna just do like one little tiny corner just in case it's, yeah. I don't know. Oh, actually, I do this so that I don't have to worry. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we're gonna need to go low or high? I think low is good enough. And then put the cool so shot. Yeah, sometimes I don't. Um, I really haven't got a clue what I'm doing. No, it's all right. <laughs> sometimes it's easy to start from the center. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You know, let's just go for it, guys. Oh, it's getting a little bit on the muddy side. Oh, look at the cells. Gotta give it a chance because these colors might. Kind of... That's pretty. Look at the, yeah. Thank you, dear. Oh, it's super selling up. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Mm -hmm. One thing about thin paints is that they dry so beautifully and you don't really have to worry about them ever cracking. Right. And if you ever, if you want to, yeah, do some embellishments or blow with your mouth, that's all fine and good. If you need a step stool, I've got a step stool for you. Are you, are you I use it all the time on the short side. Hardly. Um, 
have to go and get my high heels out. Oh, stop. <laughs> Your high heel tennis shoes. I'm just kidding. Um, all of my... I have a bunch. Oh, my gosh. I forgot about this thing. This is one of my... Uh, I love those cells coming out. Yeah, I have a bunch of um, palette knives and they're all being... Um, oh, no, they're not. There we go. There's a little one and a big one, but you won't need the big one. <gasps> Look at this. That is gorgeous. I think, you know, when... Look at the uh, pearls coming. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Look at these. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm quite tickled pink with this. Mm -hmm. I'm tickled Sorry. for you. <laughs> I'm tickled for you. <laughs> See, I don't usually paint in the daytime when the sun's up. <laughs> I'm the, like a vampire. I'm the vampire. <laughs> I am the vampire painter. Those teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. So when I, I usually turn the lights out and then um, video it with, with the pearls coming, er, with the uh, all the glitter and stuff, so I don't know if the glitter was going to show, but we can always video it later too. Do the flyover. Very pretty. You know, it's like the forest gump, isn't it? It's like the box of it's chocolates. The box of chocolates. You, you never, never know. know what you're gonna get. And that's it with the oops to date. We're doing these. we're doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um it can either end up an absolute distressful nightmare or That's beautiful. The, my first time on an oval campus and I really like it. I do too. It just adds another If you want yeah, do you wanna use this? No, I'm gonna do okay. this one. Oops to date. Don't put a cajol in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this canvas, it's, I don't know, it's because the paint's so thin. Mm -hmm. It's easy, you easily get through to the canvas, mm -hmm. the base, through the thin paint. A lot of times when I when I do something, I'll put it, put the, this flat. Right. Yeah. That is pretty. I love it. I quite like it. I quite like it. Mm -hmm. There isn't anything I don't like, and it's still developing. Mm. See, this is coming through now. Yeah. And the gold here, beautiful. You know, and I'd say first time using TLPs, and um, on a pearl, a on pearl, a pearl, pearl, pearl. pearl base. Yeah. Is this might develop quite a bit still. Do you want to put it on time lapse, and we'll let it do its thing, sure. and uh, that way we can let everybody know how it, it develops. You know, I'm getting little fractals up here as well, which is rather pretty. Yeah. You are. It's like got an undershadow to yeah. it. That's, I love that when that happens. Yeah, it's pretty All right, let's put it. We're going to put it on time lapse, guys, and we're going to let you see it develop. Okay. We'll be back in a flash. guys so this is the beauty that Kathy Mackey created look at that bling and the blue eyes kind of bled out which was kind of really a cool effect because it gave it like a shadow and she her color she chose which is perfect perfection and we have little fractals happening on the edge, which is so pretty. Yep, she did good. And then the, these are the pearls she got from the pearl mix. And that's like one of my favorite parts right there. It's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs>
A Star is Born. Oh, I'm tickled pink. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> you just welcome. taught me everything I know. <laughs> I pour with Kathy Mackey. I'm just taking the gnats off my <laughs> here. This is an 11 by 14 gallery wrap level 2 artist loft. I am going to attempt to do a split cup and my colors golden, conacridone magenta, 24 karat gold. Oh by the way all of these are mixed with mixed pour. Ta-da! This is available from Krista Rasmussen. Resmi Sorry, Krista, I just butchered your name. Um, and I'll put the um, the email in the uh, description on where you can get your own. So I've never tried this kind of pour. Uh, and actually, I don't. I haven't been very successful with my split cups but I've been watching Jamie created that and I've been studying her and hopefully I can get it. This is Deco Art Pearl. Deco Art Metallics Pearl. This is Deco Art in Sapphire which is this one I just picked up today and thank you Kathy Mackey. She helped me out with my purchases today. It's very kind of her. This is yeah, golden um, paints gray. This is Artist Loft bright yellow green or green yellow. I'm not sure. This is um, the only one that it was mixed with another pouring medium, but it wasn't uh, thick enough. So I ended up putting um, some mix in it to make it thicker. And that is the Thalo Turquoise from Golden. This is Folk Art. What the heck is this? Yeah, it's Folk Art, sorry. Um, and this is the Color Shift in flat, uh, Aqua Flash. This is Aqua Flash. It's got a really nice color shift to it. And this is Pebio. Uh, iridescent uh, green blue. And I've added green blue. That isn't even close to green. <laughs> Red, no, this is violet blue, or blue violet, and I put a smidge of the red blue in here. Where the heck did I get green blue from? Oh my god. So, I should have done a drip test on this, but I haven't. I'm kind of winging it. But Kathy and I are having the time of our lives. Love that lady. I met her at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, and we've been pals ever since. Gal pals. I like that the blue and the magenta mixed and it made purple. And I like this here, but I don't like the composition. So I'm going for it again. This time I'm going to put it in my hand. So it's not what I wanted. I, I wanted finger links. And I didn't get I got stripes. Okay, so let's try this again, guys. We don't need a base, obviously. So Yep, it is. 
she does hers. That's weird. Hmm. So let's torch it. And I'm going to put you guys back on time lapse. Hey guys, so I like this pour a lot better. I know I lost a lot of the magenta, but the magenta mixed with the Payne's Gray made this beautiful purple. And the purple and the turquoise are spectacular. And there's the magenta right there. Oh gosh, I just love that. And there's a little bit of gold and pearl there and it's just beautiful that's my favorite spot so i'm glad i stretched this out as much as i did because there was a hell of a lot of paint on it look at that little cell just popping through so i like the composition a lot better i wasn't too terribly happy with these so i was able to get most of them off that's a cool corner but this right there are you kidding me oh and it's just glowing so you guys let me know what you think this is an a pour inspired by jamie created that i'll link her channel in the description and uh please be safe and create please like share and subscribe and ciao for now oh thank you kathy Awesome. Me a lot. Awesome.